Yo, sorry for the wait. The champ is back. <laughs> nah, let me quit. Hey, y'all know the drill. Five likes for the next part. Let's get right into it. On me. A marriage made in heaven. Raise. Damn. Damn. Damn, he just kept going. Okay. We the traffic police. All right, police. gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. For sure. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. And I say my suit pressed. Let me change it. Yeah, put me a fresh suit on, fresh press. Hey, you think those vice boys get any on the side? You know what I'm saying? Investigate Ray's Are Cafe. Well, let's go do it then. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Look, sorry for the wait. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Sorry for the wait. I apologize. But, you know what I'm saying? We we, we back with another case. I was, I was just going judge. through some things, man. You know what I'm saying? You look to... at this clown. Who you talking about? I don't want to be rude, hey, but I ain't got fuck Get him, Bukowski. Get him, Bukowski. You driving, by the way, Bukowski. You're behind the wheel. But nah, yeah, I had to snap myself out of it, man. I'm back, though. On me. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. Wow. I'll convince him to let it go. They trying to make the girl from the last case that? an accessory. I'll give him something better. And she ain't even know. She ain't even know that bro was still in the car. I mean, the tires and the, the Packard team. You know what I'm saying? I said the car, the tires, just just the car. <laughs> the... On me. Damn. Look like he got a mm -hmm. gunshot wound or something. What's that big stain on his jacket? Detectives, over here. You sound excited. Oh, Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Man, I got a nice suit. Canvas the area. The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Mm. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Look at Bukowski. Is that so? Bro, you got a wife at home with that dookie oh. brown suit. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Damn! What you got in here? Lester Patterson, fire and life. Life insurance. Patterson has life insurance. Who who the beneficiary? Dear Mr. Patterson, I got the lump. Y'all know how people be getting over that uh uh um that life insurance. This is house right here. Okay. Can notify next of kin. Mr. Patterson, 182 North Hope Street. All right, we got a dollar. You down bad. Oh, that's a couple dollars. A couple dollars. Hey, y'all. Follow me on Twitter, too. D Pressure 4. The letter D Pressure 4 on me. If you want to stay updated on where I be and all that. I've been going through some things, my. What's that on his hand, though? Hold on. Let me see. I guess we can't do nothing with that. Nope. All right. Guess we done searching the body then. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest one? Isn't that inconsistent? 
Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Oh, I ain't gonna step on the blood. I almost stepped on the evidence. All right, big bro. Wait for me right there. Let me see. Cameraman, watch are you flashing at. It's a crime scene. Watch out, your suit's not nice. This is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Facts. There's blood over here. And then... It's dark over here. Huh? Body traveled a good 20 feet. Exactly, but there's blood over there. Wouldn't the whole trail go from... I'm talking like I'm a... I, well, you know what? I am a real detective. Somebody tried to hit the brakes. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Right. See, I'm a detective, y'all. I swear I'm a detective. Stop playing. She's all yours, detective. Hold on. I don't want to talk to her yet. Actually, you might as well, bro. Come on. Let's holler at her. How you doing? Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. What you got going on? What the, what the car look like? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 3C8. 3C8. For sure. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Argument? Okay. She's telling the truth. And what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What the argument sound like? more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Stop the cat. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Mm. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. All right, Bukowski. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Mm. Thank you, Miss Barrett. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Thank you, Queen. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. You know it. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. All right, patrons I'll take of the, the bar. bartender. You work the rest of the room. Hell no, nah, watch out. What up, boy? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Oh, that's what you do. He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna no. Mrs. Patterson home. Oh, you know her on a first name basis. Let me tell you something. A witness What's up with the argument? an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Oh, okay. Is he capping? Hold on, man. I gotta use a point. Damn, that didn't help. What Damn. Was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Here, capping. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Mm. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Thanks for your help, Lynch. 
I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure. No Who problem. the hell goes to the bar with a wife? Get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Who the hell? The question is, who goes to the bar? So this is why everybody comes to raise. Oh, he got a little, little, uh, unlicensed, um, gambling back here, huh? Gambling without a license. Are right, we in the alleyway? Y'all got back here. Let's check these garbage cans. Y'all know they like to put stuff in the garbage can. Oh, I need a phone. Hold on. Check this dumpster right here. Uh huh. Garbage can. Oh! I'm a gold detective. I'm a gold, a gold detective. Stop playing. Knife. It's mean. It's mean at all. No. <laughs> In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Bloody knife. So he got stabbed. He got stabbed. Okay. Let me go to his phone over here. Stop playing. Move. Move. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. Shut up. The early bird gets the worm. A hole detected. It's like a mouse. It's a cheap. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? Oh, me. I need to run a partial license plate. Three Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln. Quit Covenant. following me. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. William Shelton. Thanks, man. What show? William. Looks Shelton. like we caught a break on this one. Is that all I got over here, though? Okay, we found the bloody knife. Ain't nothing else. Watch out, coroner. You a little weird yourself. Oh, it's a E. So they must have just put that here. All right. Bet. I was just checking that again. All right, bet. Let's go talk to the wife. Because they had an argument. We know who hit him with the car, so she ain't running nowhere. I mean, he ain't running nowhere. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Patterson right All right. Where to? We need to go where the bar owner and the wife at. What the bar owner doing with the wife? On me. Cole, this look like your house. Yeah, I go up the stairs like a player. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, this Cole Phelps. Yes, hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? My face small as hell. Come in. What's up, tiny face? Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. She don't even give a damn. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? It mean you wanted the insurance. I think it's about time you left. You I want the insurance? here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. Oh. I'm Leroy Sabo. Oh. Well, well. Leroy. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. Yeah. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. 
You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. Oh, but you uh, wanted Lester, the insurance money that? first. No, I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Nature of the argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Damn, man. I don't got no more intuition. This is getting tough. It's a doubt or a lie. Let me look at my notebook. Coroner's for argument over her. We already arguing. Witnesses report overhearing an argument and an argument over her. Nah, this was a different kind of argument. Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. Yeah. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. Nah, argument over her. This was different. You married? Oh! The arguments are never any different. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. That's a damn lie. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. I know it's a damn bloody knife. What? I've loved to push him under a car many a time. Oh but my god. Time. We're leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh my god. Bro, I can't be taking breaks, bro. This is terrible, bro. Oh, I done butchered the case, bro. I done butchered you can drive. the case, bro. Uh, where are we going? That's a doubt. I'm saying lie. I'm thinking that's the evidence. Yeah, bro, come on, man. Lucky break, getting the partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff? Right. Well, in a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be. Bro, I'm kind of sick. Hold on, bro. Bro, ain't no way they just got away with that, bro. Mm. I can't go catch them. And Leroy Sabo, bro. That's the son of a bitch right there. What up, William champ? Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Okay, you're gonna throw your clothes at me now. Let's get it, y'all. I be, I need to make up for what just happened anyway. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Oh damn, I can't even drive no more. Come here, Shelton. Ah, ah. Come on. Get out the way. LAPD! Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. LA PD. I wonder if he killed someone. Don't Try resist. Like this. <laughs> Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I done told you we LAPD. Don't let that ass <laughs> get away. Come here. Get over here. Sandwich. All right, I give up. I bet you do. That's it. You Come give up. Remember, done. You give up, huh? Hmm? Put your hands in you the put air. Put them hands up. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. 
I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. Bro, he it's got not my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead. Sheldon. Bro, that was a bloody knife. Oh? William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Yeah. Yo, you think man. Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. Hold on, bro. Yes, talk to the coroner. Was he stabbed or not? Cole, twice Phelps, better one, better two, three, seven. Oh me, twice better 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 seven. Talking about. How could I help, detective? detective? We're out of them catching all those. Are there any messages for me? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads: Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. All right, bet. Thanks for your help. I can't believe oh, this. Guess. I'm selling the bag. Give me Lord. Oh, this man. I don't know. Bro. Try to you know the way. Me. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? I need to go over to case note. Case notes. I know why I just said case notes. I'm low. Bro, please tell me you got something. Me and my nice suit can't take this no more. Let me get in here, man. Coroner, what up, boy? We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Mm. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. I told y'all. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet mm -hmm. we could roll Sabo as a witness. Mm-hmm. Let's bring her in. Mm-hmm. See, now that would have worked if we didn't find no knife. Huh. It would have worked, huh? Now we on your ass. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come Can you go out to this one? A next to <laughs> my hey. Do we know where we're going? Bro, we going back to the Patterson residence, bro. Don't be asking me no questions. Hurry up, Mikowski. Y'all, I told y'all. I told y'all you couldn't mess with Debo. Playing with me, man. I'm back. Y'all thought I was getting away, huh? Mm-hmm. Open up. Open up the mother. Mm-hmm. What's up? The coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. What's up? You wanted that insurance money? It wasn't money. me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down. Woo! If you Leroy is trying to get at you. You don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut up. You the covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with think it. I'm he about to pop her. You, he about to Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake. Boom. Oh. Okay. Too late, Sabo. Leroy. Leroy. I told you. All right. Get out the way. Get out the way. You got a gun, too. I should pop you. I should pop you, Leroy. Right in the gun. All right. You want to... Ooh, you lucky. I don't want to shoot. You going to jail. You going to jail. You lucky. I don't want to... Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Keep shooting at me. Okay. All right. Nah, you pissed. You going to jail. I ain't going to kill you. I ain't going to spare you. You going to jail. Last chance to survive. 
surrender, Sabo. Don't make me have to smoke. Leroy. Now are we gonna make a bargain or what? Let the sister go. How long do you think you can hold out? Let the sister go right now. Fucking asked for it. What? Damn. I tried to kneecap him. It's too late, Sabo. And Leroy, bring your man. You might as well smoke you now, fool. Nah, 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 nah. What's up? What's up? What's up, Lee? Hold on, right in the back of the head. Play with my aim. Hell wrong with you, boy? Shoot, we ain't even finna do that. You look spooked, Phelps. Oh! I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Pop is a little goofy. Play on me, man. Got time to play with him, bro. Talking about I look spooked. Could I have took him alive, y'all? My bad. I got a little. I got a little. I had to take it. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Appreciate Keep up the good work. I will. I will. I appreciate the love. <coughs> Three stars. Yo, we gotta tighten up. Five likes for the next part. I appreciate y'all for coming. I appreciate y'all for being here. I got another visit to raise and you would have seen that Leroy was prepared to see what, you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Huh? Huh? Well, damn. Maybe I should have went back to the scene of the crime. Learning experience? I'll catch y'all in the next vid. Peace. Sorry for the wait.